What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be going through some interesting new items that have arrived at GP Knives. Uh, for those of you who don't know, GP Knives is an excellent retailer. Uh, I do have uh, an affiliate program set up with them. What does that mean? It means that if you use the links uh, that I'm going to provide in the description to uh, go to uh, GP Knives and pick something up, it does benefit my channel, but I'm not being paid by GP Knives. They didn't ask me to do this video. They are legitimately one of the retailers in my you know, kind of my rotation. Everybody's got a different rotation of retailers that they check. They're one of the retailers that I go through and check and they've got a lot of really cool stuff. One of the main reasons I like to come to GP Knives, besides the fact that I think their their website is excellent and uh, you know, they, they ship fast, they're reliable, is because they carry a lot of the really interesting odds and ends stuff. They carry all the same brands that we all like and lots and lots and lots of models within those brands, but they carry weird little interesting things. And, and sometimes, you know, if, if uh, something that I'm looking for is sold out on a different retailer, um, they'll, they'll sometimes have it if you dig deep enough into their website. And uh, many, many times that has happened. And I thought, yeah, let's check out some of their new stuff. So I went through, before I started recording, I went through a couple of pages and I thought, yeah, there's some cool stuff here. So I want to do that with you guys. Follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, I know a lot of you guys are um, watching this video and thinking, why would I need to watch a video? I could do this myself. Yeah, you're right. Um, I will make that easy on you. I'll provide a link um, that'll take you directly to their uh, new arrivals page or new items page. And you can go through, th through this yourself. You certainly don't have to sit here and watch. But anyways, um, so <laughs> the first thing... <laughs> I thought this is awesome because so a lot of you know that Kiefer actually made me a um, a scalpel out of an F-150 truck spring and that's my dedicated unboxing knife. This is very similar to that. <laughs> I mean, it's expensive, but it's an S-35EN scalpel. So if you guys have ever watched me unbox a knife with my scalpel, I love my scalpel. It needs to be sharpened, but if you've ever thought you know what, I would like my own dedicated uh, unboxing scalpel. Um, well, Audacious Concept uh, actually makes a, a backcountry scalpel in S35VN for $120. And uh, I just thought that was cool, right? Uh, moving on here, uh, the same company actually makes some really, really interesting drivers out of uh, titanium, and they've got the black-coated PV PVD. I imagine these are quarter-inch bit. Let's look at this one. Um, I like the idea of a high quality driver. They are expensive, but these are cool. These are interesting to me. Um, yeah, quarter inch uh, magnetic bit. That's really cool. Um, so that, I figured that might be something you were interested in. You guys know I use that stubby uh, Wea driver and I like it. That big sort of, you know, heavy butt end really helps when you're trying to be really careful about how much torque you're putting on it. So the nice thing is, is you don't if you don't want to put too much torque, um, you can use this area up here. And if you're wanting to put a lot of torque, that ball at the back is really going to help you do that. So these are nice drivers. They've got some different ones in here. Um, lots of interesting stuff. Um, that one's nice. I like that. But yeah, I know that, um, you know, all of us use Torx drivers and things like that when we're taking apart our knives. And some people really want, you know, just a really high quality one for no other reason than it just is in titanium and looks cool. Moving on here, they have a healthy supply of Microtech knives. If you've been looking for an LUDT, uh, they certainly have those. Lots of combat troodons. I'm trying. I'm trying to say that word correctly. Lots of Ultratex. It's a good place to check for some of the weird variant Ultratex. I know some people really like those. Lynch clips, uh, fantastic pocket clips and some weird ones there. They do have, excuse me, um, some small Sabenzas in the Micarta uh overlays this is the new style of overlays if you guys haven't seen this i'll uh take a look at it here real quick um it's got it's it's not fully shadow box but it's not the old inlay style from the um from the 21s this looks a lot better in my opinion um i really really like how that looks i like their um you know you they've always included a video so you can see how it looks in hand that's something that i really appreciate about gp knives i'm sure you guys have come across this uh, on youtube before um, but yeah, definitely. So check that out. If you've been looking for a small Sabenza 31 with Micarta, uh, this one in particular is very beautiful. Hardware sets, Hinderer hardware sets uh, for the half track. Uh, those can be a little bit scarce. Um, they've got uh, handle nuts for the XM24 that have the Hinderer horse head logo on them. I've got those for my uh, three and a half inch and I really like it. Lots of Hinderer investigator pins. Moving on here, we're just kind of scrolling through 
Uh, and I'll click on things and zoom in on things that uh, pique my interest. I always find the, <laughs> the Kabar, uh, the desert dessert destroyer ice cream scoop. <laughs> that's very creative. Hilarious. Not a new item, but every time I see it, I'm like, eh, that's funny. It's a spoon. Uh, some flashlights, more lynch clips. There was something here that I really wanted to or that that uh, I, I knew was packed away in here that I wanted to show because I've scrolled through here or well. I've searched for an item that popped up on GP Knives, and I saw it last night, and I know it's going to show up here in a sec. Uh, Hinderer Slippies, Vintage Series Hinderer Slippies. Those are pretty cool. Uh, they've got a healthy supply of those, so if you're interested in picking up a smaller Hinderer that's non-locking, and you like the Vintage Series with the Walnut and the 01 Parkerized Tool Steel, um, then that's definitely going to be the knife for you. And those only come in at like 285 so way less than a standard Hinderer. Uh, interesting... Olight Perrin Mini Orange Limited Edition 1000 Lumens for $70. That's amazing. Tons of Hinderer Half Track Slicers. This is uh, the sli bringing the slicer grind to other models uh, is obviously a great idea. But on the Half Track, I think it makes a lot of sense. The Half Track is one of the more popular designs from Hinderer Knives that is not uh, an XM18. And, uh, um, you know, having a slicer grind on it is awesome. Plus, for whatever reason, the half track has some of the really strange colors for the uh, G10 scales. Like for this, this is a super unique one. Uh, Battle bronze working finish and like neon green or lime green. Um, I know that, you know, a lot of people are like, Ugh. but I mean, my point is, is that the, the half track has some interesting colors um, and some people, you know, specifically go after stuff like that. The nice thing about the half track is, is the scale doesn't completely cover the frame. So you get to enjoy the contrast between the scale color and the anodizing underneath, which I've always appreciated. Some S35VN Medford's in there. Uh, we've got a couple of interesting bronze and carbon fiber standard Troodon and combat Troodon. Carbon fiber and bronze looks really good to me. Uh, we've looked at this knife before on a different retailer, but just to bring it up here in, in the event that uh, that's sold out somewhere else, then you guys can check it out here. Moving on here, if my internet wants to catch up, there we go. Um, some Heretic Knives Manticore, uh, or some uh, Manticores, that's the plural form of Manticore. I've never actually even seen one, I couldn't imagine multiple. But uh, in the form of a knife that these take, yeah, they are um, uh, available here. These are actually really attractive uh, OTFs. I'm not really sure why these haven't seemed to take off quite as well. These are big OTFs. And they're handsome OTFs and they're slim OTFs. And I honestly, I really like the pocket clip. So these are S35VN. They're almost nine and a quarter inches overall. So think Combat Troodon. Except uh, instead of the $485 price tag, you're going to pay uh, $308. Um, I think that's a pretty fair price for what, honestly, I think uh, it, from what I understand about Heretic knives, they are every bit as uh, high quality as Microtech knives. In fact, I, I can't remember what, is there an affiliation? Oh, I don't want to say something that's not true. From what I understand, they are every bit as high quality as Microtech knives. Um, you're looking at the same type of uh, aluminum frame, and I'm sure their heat treats great, right? Um, so check those out if you like how that looks. Um, we've got some, uh, the BR1 Magic Whiskers in rose gold. Uh, we've got the Godson in rose gold. We've got some a couple of interesting ones here. Super classy looking uh, Godson with the DLC, uh, or uh, I guess it's hard code uh, type 3 anodizing on aluminum, and then your carbon fiber. It's just a nice, it's just a real, you know, if you need to carry a switchblade to a fancy dinner, that's the one you carry. Or if you want to do something like this, it's kind of a steampunk. Yeah, steampunk, limited edition, uh, black automatic knife. These are the kind of little things that I, even if I don't have the intention of picking them up, uh, scrolling through here and finding weird variants of things or limited edition uh, variants of things that kind of got buried by a couple of pages, That that's the kind of stuff that I look for. There's another one right here that I didn't notice. Um, the red leather inlay. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen leather inlaid on a knife. But yeah, I mean, that's weird. That's different. I've definitely never seen something like that before. And that's what I appreciate about GP knives for sure. Legitimately. Um, some Rovivon Aurora A24 uh, flashlights in titanium. So I have got a Rovivon on my keychain. 
and I love it. I mean, the it's it's been beat into the ground. <laughs> All the uh, the the coating on the outside is wearing off, but it's still going strong. So I, I like a uh, Rovi Vaughn. Um, overall length is about three inches, so it's probably a little bit bigger than um, uh, the one that I've got. Uh, it weighs about two ounces, so you know it may not be something you absolutely want to put on your keychain, but you can. You can see there in his hand. I'm not going to hit play on the video, but uh, in his hand there, uh, it's it's not an ultra big flashlight. So if you just like, a, oh, they've got the button on the back now. Oh no, no, that's not the button. That's the uh, US. That's a micro USB recharge uh, rechargeable port, and then the buttons on the side. I kind of like that it's a metal button on this guy and not a rubber button. I think seven, a lot of people are going to go, oh, you know, if I can get a lot more lumens for a lot less, then it's not about lumens. I found that, you know, this, this flashlight that I've got in my pocket right now has a maximum output of 2,800 lumens. And I've found that I've never needed more than 300. Just EDC, you know, right? If I get lost in the jungle at some point, then maybe those 2,800 lumens will really uh, make me happy. But uh, considering how small that thing is and what you're going to use it for, I think 700 lumens is fine. And, and a lot of people are going to be happy that it's in titanium. Moving on here, some more interesting flashlights, um, some pins from Prometheus lights. Oh, wait, is that a, it's also a flashlight? Hmm. Maybe it's not. Let's actually, I kind of want to, I kind of want to look at this. Um, no, it's just a pin. Material, clearing copper, what is that? Tell tellurium copper? 6L4V. Uh, let's see here. I'm reading about it. Rollerball cages. Precision. Uh, okay. It's a really nice pen. It said Pro Prometheus Lights. And I just, I was like, oh, is it like a pen and a flashlight? Maybe I'm stupid and somebody can inform me down in the uh, comments section there. All right. Moving on here. I know it's going to pop up any moments. Spider, Spider Co. Ladybug. I know we clicked over the, the, the uh, Ladybug and K390. I've had mine on my keychain for a long time and I just absolutely love it. Some of these, like, like I know people see SOG and they go, Ugh. but SOG is making a, a, I think another, they're, they're another one of those brands that's making a solid effort to like move away from the cheesy. I'm sure they'll still keep the tactical nature, but it seems like they're trying to move away from the cheapy, like not super high quality knives and make a real effort to bring something quality to the table. Yeah, the Scout. This is a uh, this is honestly a driver that I'm considering picking up for myself for no other. I mean, my driver's fine, but I just like the idea of having a high quality driver. Um, this is in solid zirconium, limited, uh, one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, you can get a bit driver that functions just as well for like ten bucks, and I've got one. But this is cool, and these are these are items that people like and. Uh, they're not always available. There's a picture of it in somebody's hand there. Um, these are neat. And uh, it, that might be something that I pick up just to have it. Because why not, right? I don't necessarily always buy what I need. In fact, I would say I rarely buy things that I absolutely need. I would imagine that most of the people watching my channel have similar buying habits. But don't let me push you. Uh, more Protex in rose gold. Those are pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tidouette. I always pronounce that incorrectly. Number 23. I'm always happy to see uh, Great Eastern Cutlery and, and Tito Wet Knives. Um, moving on. More hatchets. More, uh, let's see here. More multi-tools. I've never, I've honestly never experienced a SOG multi-tool. If, if I'm going to buy another multi-tool, it's it's usually going to be a Leatherman, which I'm sure they carry. In fact, I've, I think I've seen some Leathermans on their website before. Um, Microtech UTX85. Double edge black uh, DLC coated. That's a cool one. I don't see that super often. So if you're looking for a UTX 85, that's all blacked out. They carry Civivis, right? There's one of these I was talking about that you just don't see all the time. Uh, this is the Molan Labe, however you say that. Uh, the one that's got the half. So there's another one, you know, with the opposing deal on there. Uh, but this is cool. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, uh, but if you're looking for an odd variant of Ultratech, right, especially if you like the black with the bronze look, um, these were more plentiful a few months ago, and now they seem to be a little bit scarce, and, you know, I depend on uh, uh, websites like GP Knives, you know, when I'm looking for something like that that seems to be sold out everywhere else, definitely. One more item, we've got to be coming up on it here pretty soon, because I don't think it was that old. 
Uh, XM18 three and a half inch skinny handle nuts. Yes, they do take different parts because all everything's thinner, right? So the barrels are going to be a little bit shorter. Um, it's nice to uh, you know have that option and some uh, odd variants of XM18. More heretic knives, manticores. Um, now wait a sec, those are a little bit less expensive. Hang on, let's go back and take a look at that. I want to find out what the deal is with these. Red honestly looks nice. Look at this red and black one here. Um, okay. No, this is a shorter one. That's why. Okay, so they do... I didn't know that. Um, the Manticore E. Does that mean it's the shorter one? A little bit less money. Double edge. Um, it's still a nice size though. 7.8. This is going to be about the same size as the Guardian Tactical Recon 35. It's a little bit more expensive. I don't know what... You know the whatever it, it's close enough, right? It's like two eighty five to three three hundred for comparing Guardian Tactical. Nice pocket clip, even though the lanyard holds being prioritized over it, right? There it is in hands. Nice edge. I kind of it's that's just a nice looking OTF. It's it's odd to me. I know that this knife has been around for a while, but it's odd to me that that has not quite taken off as well as I would have assumed. Uh, some Protec SNG autos. If you've been looking for a Protec SNG auto and you can't find one anywhere, they've got one right here. So if you like blue, yep, absolutely. Those are amazing knives. I own one. I've handled many in many different forms. Very, very recommendable. Um, three inch handle nuts in bronze and blue that have the horse head logos. Some of the gear uh, pocket clips. Those are pointless unless you, it's just another fidget thing. Um, they're kind of neat. If you're a Hinderer fan and you really like spending too much money on pocket clips and you're very fidgety, right? Here we go. This is the kind of stuff that I find on, uh, on GP Knives' website. So, um, these are not common. Uh, I have a feeling that, uh, after I do this video, this will get bought. I'm going to guess they have one or maybe two of these. This is an antique holy clip with the hinderer logo down at the base. Now, for people who don't care about hinder knives or people who are like, why, what the heck, I can get a, a good knife for 50 bucks. Yeah, this isn't really gonna be for you, but um, there are a lot of hinder nuts out there that look for odd variants of hardware. And every now and then, hinderer will just sort of secretly drop some really interesting custom hardware um, at uh, uh, random retailers. And I've got a hunt for this stuff. Um, I, I'll tell you, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I want to buy this for myself, but I'm not going to, because it's, it's one of those things I just wanted to, I wanted to use it as an example of why I come to GP knives, uh, and then look through their, their inventory, right? Ever since, you know, the whole steel flame thing, uh, happened with, uh, with hinder knives, those, those items are so expensive. You think 50 bucks is expensive for a pocket clip? Get on eBay and type in steel flame for hinderer knives and find out what a pocket clip goes. Some of those things are three, four, five, six hundred dollars. I've seen them upwards of a thousand dollars for a pocket clip before. But the idea there is it looks really cool and vintage. And yeah, the, those are custom made, uh, you know, pieces that are, they're like jewelry. Oftentimes they've got rubies and and made out of silver or what precious metals whatever um but the look oftentimes is a sort of vintage really cool look that goes really well with a hinder knife especially if you've got like it's it's being shown here in the working finish or if you've got a battlefield uh, xm or if you've got a vintage series xm um this definitely goes well and it's unique I i've seen the holy clip before but i've never seen it in this antique steel i want to see this antique finish on hinderer hardware in general. I want to see full sets of antique uh, hardware. I think that would sell really, really well. I wish I could zoom up for you guys. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. There we go. Right there. That's beautiful. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I come to GP Knives for. And in general, if you've never shopped at GP Knives, yeah, they do ship quick. They're easy to work with. Their website layout is great. Um, and I, you know, I feel like I haven't uh, highlighted them, you know, um, as, uh, as um, you know, me having a, an affiliate program with them, um, I definitely want to highlight them. I've always kept their link down in my description, um, but uh, it's always, it's always nice to point people in the direction of retailers that I believe in and actually use myself. That's the big part of this. I'm not going to direct you guys to a retailer that I, number one, don't believe in, and number two, no, don't use myself, and I definitely believe in GP Knives, I like what they do, and I definitely use their website very often to buy things. So, anyways, guys, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Um, this was a lot of fun. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you decided to pick something up. Uh, tell, tell everybody what it was down in the description, 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.